Hi friends, so today I wanted to show you the curriculum that postgraduates have in Germany. So I showed you the logbook in the last video and here I wanted to show the curriculum. Now I have all the curriculum for all the post-graduation residency programs and super speciality programs with the English translations will be put up in the Eurojobs community for members to access them and to have a look as to what is the curriculum for postgraduates in Germany. So let's have a look. Now this is the English translation of the curriculum of the field of plastic reconstructive and aesthetic surgery. So let's see area definition. What does it say? What does the curriculum say? The field of surgery includes the prevention, detection, conservative treatment, conservative and surgical treatment, aftercare and rehabilitation of surgical diseases, injuries and consequences of injuries, as well as congenital and acquired deformities and malformations of the vessels, the internal organs, including the heart, musculoskeletal and reconstruction transplant surgery. It's like this is a general definition of surgery. As I showed you, you uh, this comes under surgery, all the super specialities like I showed you in the logbook section. Now, training period. Now, this is crucial. This is what you need to look at. As I said, the big advantage in Germany is you can switch between fields and the field you have experience in will usually be considered part of your training for super speciality. For example, if you want to do, let's say, plastic surgery, if you have done two years of general surgery or a GI surgery, or, you know, it can be recognized in, in during a super specialty. Like, I'll show you what it means. For example, 72 months in the field of surgery under authorization of training centers, see, this is the crucial part, of which 48 months must be completed in plastic reconstructive and aesthetic surgery. So to get a degree in plastic surgery, you should have had 72 months of surgical training. Now out of the 72 months of surgical training, 48 months must be completed in plastic reconstructive and aesthetic. It could be more, but at least 48 months, that is four years you should have worked exclusively in plastic surgery departments. What does it mean? That means the two extra years could be anything. Also must complete six months in the emergency department, crucial. Must complete six months in the intensive care medicine. So this is crucial. So out of the 72 months, that is six years, 48 months must be exclusively in plastic surgery in the department of plastic surgery doesn't matter which hospital you can change hospital you can do it in four different hospitals doesn't matter but you should have stayed at least six months in one department for it to be recognized you can change even after six months but below six months it will not be recognized you have to stay in a department for at least six months for it to be recognized so you can change hospitals as much time as you as many times as you want but at least six months you'll have to be in one department for it to be recognized as part of this 48 months. So for let's say four years, you can do, do it in four different hospitals or eight different hospitals for six months each. It's possible. <laughs> of course, I won't recommend that. And you must complete six months in the emergency department. So you should have, out of the 72 months, six months you should have done in an emergency department six months in intensive care medicine see the crucial part up to 12 months of further training in other areas can be undertaken to acquire skills so you can work one year in general surgery or whatever now a small insider tip here because i worked in all of these departments let's take plastic surgery as an example itself let's say you want to specialize in plastic surgery i would highly recommend and this applies to every surgical field Try to get in time in vascular surgery. I cannot stress this enough. This I realized only later. I didn't know the importance of vascular surgery until I worked in vascular surgery. So this is an insider tip. So I would highly suggest if you can get time, especially plastic surgery, if you're doing gastrointestinal surgery, cardiac surgery, please try to get time in vascular surgery. So here they say up to 12 months of further training in other areas can be undertaken to acquire skills. So I would highly suggest you do this in vascular surgery. Of course, you can do it in general surgery as well. 
Um, so this, these are the requirements for plastic surgery. Similarly, you have for different fields, the similar training period requirements, which I will put all of it for the Eurojobs members. So Eurojobs members will have access to the German document um, curriculum as well as the English translations. I decided to get all of it translated into English. This one is one of the English translations. It will be up by tomorrow. So training content of the specialist competence. So this is a direct translation from German. <laughs> That's why it so sounds odd. Uh, general content uh, or further training uh, for section B taking into account area specific characteristics ethical scientific and legal principles of medical practice all of this you know general stuff basic medical assessment deepening and strengthening profession specific attitudes for the benefit of the patient based on medical expertise recognized ethical principle blah blah quality assurance hygiene measures uh, medical post-mortem examination or whatever economic and structural aspects of the healthcare system patient related content management of infections with multi-resistant pathogens situation appropriate this is basically the curriculum what is expected of your postgraduate training training related content etiology pathophysiology pathogenesis of diseases blah blah uh, uh, technical diagnostic content in connection with area specific um, issues uh, significant loss regulation directives all of this is expected in your training that you fulfill all of this it's expected of you uh, local anesthesia and pain therapy emergency intensive care medicine obviously uh, specific contents of specialist training in plastic aesthetic surgery, uh, basics of allo alloplastic medicine, this is specific to plastic surgery, plastic surgery, emergencies, treatment options for specialist acute organ disorders, injuries, infection, circulatory disorders, especially of the hand, soft tissue and skin. This Similarly, you have this for all other fields like specific to the field, diagnostic procedure, reconstructive plastic surgery, what they expect. Treatment uh, options for deep, extensive and progressive inflammation following surgical treatment or soft tissue destruction and necrosis. So I'm just giving you an example of plastic surgery. Similarly, you have this for all the fields. So this is a curriculum. So those of you who are members of Eurojobs will have access to this. So I hope this video helped giving you an idea of what a curriculum looks like. So similarly for all the fields, the requirements are here in the second section here. So you can go to the Eurojobs community, click on that, choose the field and have a look at it. I've put it in English as well. So I hope this helps. See you in the next video. Bye.